Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Titli and you are watching Titli V. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I make book related videos every week. Today I am going to talk about two books that I have read very recently and I like them so very much. So this is a review about two very short books books that I have read. Now we often struggle to find novels which are quite thin and easy to read. Now both the novels that I am going to talk today are quite thin and easy to read. So without any further ado, let's get started. The first book that I am going to review is Gachar Gochar by Vivek Shama. Now this is a book in uh, Kannada and this was translated by Srinath Pelur. This book is about a young man whose life is intertwined between his life struggle with his family and his wife and everything. So escape from his mundane life. So he goes to this old cafe, sits there and seeks some consolation from the waiter there who is apparently very understanding. Now this young man whose life is actually with his family which is a very very normal as well as a very weird family. The young man lives with his father, mother, wife, sister and uncle. So this is almost like a joint family that he lives in but the dynamic within the family is very notorious because even though the family hate his, his father but the occupational hate and decision making aid is his uncle and so is he works for his uncle so he is almost like the MD of a company but he doesn't go to work so when he got married his wife starts asking question about it he tries to ignore that and live his life like that now this story is when you read this you are thinking about that I am reading about a very simple family like this is very normal in Indian families like that to live with the extended family members in a joint family and the family dynamics is often quite a bit of a thing to accept but the story gets interesting when we come to know when the author's family was actually poor in the beginning but once they started making fortune everything within them starts changing and at that point he even says that you know money changes people and that is something that we get to see in the story we get to see so many different things even the hypocrisy that has been shown here now best thing about this story is when the story ends it ends with an open ending so you are given to think and get your own perception of the ending so i really like this kind of book where the ending is an open end where you can get and put your own perception to it so there are a few questions that say stays when the story ends especially with the main protagonist's wife that what actually happens between them that either the wife leaves the family and go to her own mother's and father's home or the wife is killed because there are some time so, and a very significant thing throughout the book we come to know that the whole family especially the mother figure over here the protagonist mother is somebody who hates ants so this ants is like something that is coming to their house and infesting it and just being everywhere creating chaos so when the wife comes in and starts questioning their way of life starts questioning their hypocrisy and everything so what do it they do with that wife and there is always this power struggle between the three women in the house that is a mother the wife and the sister so this is a very very interesting book now the book is only about 114 pages so i read it in one day so i am a slow reader i read it in one day i think most people will take about two or three hours to finish this book this is a very good book a short book and i recommend you all to go through this one this is an amazing read and i give it four out of five stars the next book that i'm going to talk about is one of my favorite author and that is agatha christie and this is the mysterious affair at times now if you know agatha christie you know her brilliant works now this book is actually her first book 
Yes, so this is the first book and the first novel by her. So uh, I didn't know that this was the first novel. I just bought it and one of my friends told me that this is actually the first novel. So she and I went on a body read with this one. The story is about Mrs. Eaglethrop who was killed all of a sudden. We don't got to know how, why she was killed. Now she was a very rich old lady with a newly wed husband by her side who was quite younger than her as well as two stepsons and one daughter-in-law. Now the whole family is behind her money that was a motif because she was very rich and every power even the style mansion was actually under her name. So from her date there were actually four people who could have benefited. Now surprisingly Mr. Hastings were visiting them that very week when Mrs. Eaglethrop was killed and Hastings suggested that Poirot should come in and go through this mysterious thing that happened in the style mansion. Now if you like murder mystery, go for this. This I really like this one while reading it but there are a few things I was not happy about or I cannot say that I really liked it. Now this could be because of the fact that I have read masterpieces by Agatha Christie before I read this one. Now when I look at it as a debut novel of her, I think this is brilliant but now that I have read all the good books by her like Then There Were None as well as The Murder on the Orient Express as well as the other books. So, this seems like a little bit off but when you understand this is the first book this is also brilliant. Now the first best thing about this book is this is where Hercule Poirot and Mr. Hastings starts their work together. So there is a whole series on Hercule Poirot you can read, you can love. I would still suggest this book because unlike most of the Agatha Christie's book this one is quite thin and easy to read. I finished it again on just two days or not two days within 24 hours so this book is quite good too in that way and you you can see these are like quite spaced words and so many gaps so it's like 184 89 pages but ultimately it's quite easy to read and very fast paced book so go for this if you are going to read uh, Agatha Christie book and if you're starting with Agatha Christie start with this one or else if you read this after you have read Masterpiece by her, I think you will be a little bit sad or a little bit disappointed on this book. So it is best that if you are starting Agatha Christie, start with this one. This is easy to read. This will just finish fast and you will understand this as well. And the best part about this book is, well, I felt like detective because from the very beginning I was suspecting the man and it came down that that was a very person who did commit the murder. So yeah, this is good. And it really feels good when you can actually guess who is the murderer or who is the culprit in this. So a good murder mystery book by Agatha Christie, I would suggest go and read this. This gets 3.5 stars out of 5 from me. I hope you liked my today's video. This is just a very short review of two books that I recently read which are under 200 pages. I hope you go and read this book and let me know if you liked it or not. Now if you like my videos, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. It will mean a lot to me. And stay safe, stay happy, keep reading till then. Bye bye.